today for his power his mercy his goodness one more time let's give the Lord a praise offering come on hallelujah 
Yes, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Mm. Thank you, Lord. Mm. That's a good place to be right there. If, if you don't know those lyrics... And if you wouldn't mind just putting the chorus. I'm alive, tell the story How I've overcome It's His goodness and mercy And the power of love I'm so glad that my freedom Wasn't based It's His goodness and mercy and the power of love. They overcome by the word of their testimony, by the, by the blood of the Lamb. Amen. How many of you are here today because of His grace and His mercy? <laughs> Hallelujah. You can be seated just for a moment. Um, I've got a, a great sermon that I'll preach on a different day. But I want to change and just speak to you guys for a few minutes today. Yeah. Mm. Gotta, I know i got to stick there just for a moment. Uh, somebody, this is how the Spirit works. Somebody, either in the room or watching, you require us to not be able to move because the Lord is doing something in you. The Spirit is speaking to you. He's moving upon you. Uh, all week long, we were supposed to sing Amazing Grace in this moment. Now, you guys know if I say, let's skip Amazing Grace and do something different, man, it's got to be God. Uh, this preacher don't skip Amazing Grace for much of anything. But for somebody that can hear me now, the Lord is trying to do something in you. Uh, and I kept getting stuck on that lyric. When he... Uh, I thought I deserved to be six feet beneath the earth for all the things I've done, the things I've said, the choices made that I regret. Oh, I would still be lost, but for the mercy of God. All the things I've done, the things I've said, the choices made that I regret. But I'm glad that he doesn't stop there. He said that goodness and mercy would follow me all the days of my life. On my good days, he's merciful. On my bad days, he's merciful. On my good days, he loves me. On my bad days, he loves me. Oh, I'm alive to tell the story that I've overcome because of his goodness and his mercy and the power of the blood. It has very little to do with me, but it has everything to do with Him. And I'm telling someone today, it matters not how dark your sin, that His grace is there to find you. His grace is there to love you. His mercy is there to lift you up. I'm alive to tell the story how I've overcome, and it has very little to do with and everything to do with my God. So if you can hear me and you're trying to save yourself, you're making a mess out of it. You're trying to solve these things yourself, you're making a mess out of it. You must surrender. Yield who you are to Him. <laughs> And say, Lord, I can't do it without you. So whoever you are that's the Lord speaking to, if you will yield everything to him, 
if you will give everything to him. Because the truth is, you think sometimes that you're the worst, you're the only one, you're the only one failing, you're the only one having good difficulty. Everybody that can hear my voice could sing those lyrics. I thought I deserved to be six feet beneath the earth. Who feels that way? For all the things I've done, the things I've said, the choices made that I regret. This pastor has been honest with you for years. I have to repent more than I'd like to admit. But every time I come before him and I cry to my daddy and I say, Lord, in my weakness, would you be made strong? Can you imagine that mercy meets me every time that I come in real repentance? Every time I come in real repentance and I say, Lord, would you forgive me? Can you imagine that he meets me every time? And I'll say it again, all of us, the reason you didn't die, the reason the enemy couldn't take you out in that car accident, the reason you didn't die in high school and college, etc., is so that you could stand up one day and say, but I'm alive to tell the story how I overcame his goodness and his mercy and the power of the blood so that you could give God glory.